out that this actually works, except for the fact that it's like blinding me in the fucking face with this light. So I don't really know what to do. I have this like, can you see that? That is the road I am about to walk down for like the next three and a half kilometers just because I can't have a fucking night out to dinner with people that I've known my whole life because it just causes me such severe anxiety. There's only so many places you can hide. There's only so many times you can just disappear for a cigarette. There's only so many times you can sit on the toilet. And granted, there was that one time that I really did sit on the toilet for like 15 minutes because I just couldn't push out that poo. But like... I just don't enjoy it being sociable. And I don't know, maybe it's just the people that I'm around. Like I really just don't enjoy being sociable with my family. It's just exhausting. So why, you might ask, am I walking down the street in the middle of the night by myself? Well, the answer is simple. It's a Friday night and people go out to the pub on a Friday night because there's not like that much else to really do in our shithole town, right? And I was like, I really don't want to be going to the pub because I never go. I'm invited every Friday and I just blatantly do not go. My family always goes, like my mom and dad always go. And I'm like, you know what? I just don't have any interest in hanging around with a bunch of bogans, watching them get shit faced, being like, you know, called out, wolf whistled at. It's like, you know what? I don't want to do that fucking shit. I would rather sit at home and just be at home like loitering in the Woolworths car park right now because it's like the halfway stop between like where I was out to dinner and my house which is still I don't know it's like four kilometers away from here which I'm gonna have to walk in the dark and I mean in the country it's kind of like there are no street signs around right so yeah this is gonna be fun I'm just like pacing around Woolworths because I just seriously like <sighs> don't even know what to do with myself right now. I'm not looking forward to the drive home. Not at all. I probably need some bug spray. Because it's just going to take forever. Should I buy Northia toy? Oh look, his dog food's on sale. This is what I feed Northia. I, don't, I, I really just have to walk like four kilometers so there's like no way I can carry dog food with me in the dark it's gonna be fun and I just had to buy sore eyes because I think I have pink eye and my eyes are so sore <sighs> no I know it's like see me because like I can't see shit and now it's about to get really pitch black because like there ain't no fucking lights in this street so anyway I can't even film this for you guys because like when I look at this fucking light it is like so dark like everywhere is so fucking dark when I look at this light it's like blinding me and I fucking cannot see anything else I can't talk anyway because I can't breathe I'm just gonna keep walking so I had to lose my shoes because my fucking like I had to get rid of my shoes just because like they fuck the toes ripped out of them. Like seriously, fucking people. Like how unlucky can I seriously get tonight? Like, <sighs> so what happened? I had this just like full scale freak out that I just like couldn't even. Oh my god, I'm in the trees now. I just seriously like I don't even know like where the fuck I'm walking. I can't even fucking see right now. Seriously, I don't even know where the road is. Fuck, I'm on the grass. Okay, okay. So I need to find the road fuck okay so so what happened i'm just gonna sit down and i'm gonna explain this to you guys okay so so all right so i didn't want to go to the pub i never want to go to the pub and it's really strange because people always act like surprised like oh you're not coming to the pub every single time they fucking ask me to the pub it's like i've never gone to the pub on a friday night like never i don't go i don't enjoy going i would just rather sit at home so then my mom's sitting there and then she's just kind of like Oh yeah, remember it's like Ryan's birthday, which is my sister's fiance, and I was like, oh, okay, so that means like I should probably go, right? And she's just like, oh, well, like you don't have to go, and I was like, well, if it's his birthday, like I probably should go. And I was like, I don't want to go, but I was like, I probably need to make an effort for these things. And then she's like, oh yeah, that's right, it's your sister and his engagement party. I was like, fuck. <coughs> uh. 
So I was like, fuck, okay. Now it means like I definitely am expected to go to this thing. So I go and like, I don't even know why I didn't take my car. Like I will always take my car if I do go anywhere. It's like, I don't drink. I need an escape plan. Like I always make sure that I have some form of escape plan. I didn't have an escape plan. I don't even know why I didn't have an escape plan. It was a really stupid fucking thing on my part, right? Anyway, so... I just, I can't even think right now. My thoughts are just so foggy. What was I saying? I don't know. The pub and I do like the usual kind of like thing and I'm getting like impatient and like really anxious because like all I want to do is like eat, right? I'm just like, I'm hungry. I want to eat and we're like waiting for like people to show up and it's like a fucking hour later and honestly like I can just not handle this i'm just like you know what i just need to eat so i'm like are we ordering dinner yet and then i'm just like impatient because i like to like these social things i like to like get in and get out because i just like i just can't oh my god there's a spider web seriously dinner and like i convinced one of my friends to order dinner too and like we're sitting there and then you know you gotta wait in like the fucking line for like dinner for you gotta wait like <laughs> Oh my god, I had to wait like 45 minutes in a line for like dinner, right? And it was just, it was just like absolutely ridiculous. It's so black right now, like I honestly cannot see where I'm going. Anyway. So, okay. So it's like, it's super black and I'm just like, oh shit. So I've had to turn the camera around like this way because like I can't fucking see if I put it the other way. Because like I literally, the flash from the camera like totally blinds me. And it's just so dark right now. Like, there is nothing for, like, days around me. It is so ridiculous, guys. Like, so ridiculous. So I'm walking down the street. I'm trying to get home. And I think I'm still, like, two kilometers away. Why did I decide to walk home? Well, because people decided to have this stupid idea of taking the courtesy bus to the pub. Which is great for people who are willing to wait on, you know, someone else to take them home. Anxiety doesn't wait for lifts. Like, anxiety really doesn't, guys. So, unfortunately, I had to get out of there. And I waited. I waited a good hour and a half, more than, like, I probably should have. And unfortunately, I had to go. And I was asking everyone I knew, hey, can someone give me a lift home? Not even, like, are you on your way home? Can you give me a lift home? Like, I need help, guys. Please, somebody get me out of here. And, like, nobody... Everyone's like, oh no, we're staying for like ages. It's like, well, literally, it's like a three minute drive. Can you drive me home and come back? Like, I'm begging you. I've never asked this of anyone unless, like, I really, really needed to. It's like, I can't breathe. The fucking walls are closing in around me. I'm like, there's so many people, and it's like, I'm just shutting down. Like, I just get in that state where it's like, probably what I can see my face looking like in my phone right now. That is how I feel. When I'm in a social situation, having a panic attack. It's just, it's ridiculous. So I'm sitting down having a cigarette and the truth that I bought from Woolless. Um, now, I needed a snack. I knew I needed a snack for this road home. I was almost tempted to buy, someone is having like a party at this house right here. And I'm tempted to go in. I'm tempted just to be like, hey guys, what's doing? Let's get fucked up. And it's kind of like, do I feel like being spontaneous today? No, I don't think so. It would be fun and maybe it would turn my night around. Or you know what? Maybe I just want to get the fuck home and, and snuggle my dog. Because I just, I honestly, I just can't do. I just can't do this anymore. And seriously guys, this is how lonely this like road is. It's like I haven't, I haven't even like passed a car in ages. There's probably like two cars that have like passed me so far. So... Yeah, that's my life. I ended up having to leave the pub. I asked for the courtesy bus. They were like, oh, we don't really take one person and it's going to be like an hour. And I was like, you know what? I can probably make this walk home in an hour. I told everyone, I was like, I'm going to walk. And they're like, oh, that's like a big walk. It's like a 40 minute walk. Well, guess what, guys? Like, I'm almost done on this fucking walk and it has taken me like 15 minutes so far. And I probably only have like a few minutes, five maybe max left. So it's like, I walk fast. It's like all those times these people have been like, oh my god, it was like the biggest drama. I had to walk home from the pub. It's like, seriously, people, it's not even a big deal. You made me do it. So next time you're there, you're drunk and you're begging me for a lift, I'm going to be like, bitch, remember when no one gave me a lift and I had like a medical emergency? Wow. 
this is why I'm getting my dog certified as an assistance dog because this night would have gone a lot better if I had had him with me but or if I had just taken my car just take just always have an escape plan always have an escape plan I just honestly cannot handle social situations I cannot handle the social awkwardness and I just I just these fucking mosquitoes like they are a serious problem in Australia it's like there's bugs everywhere they're not good for anxiety I should have bought the bug spray I knew I needed the bug spray in Woolworths I just can't handle this anyway oh my god I just stepped in a Ah, what the fuck? Seriously. I made it home, guys. You want to know the worst part? The courtesy bus and the people who I asked for a lift drove in my driveway at the same time that I made it to the fucking driveway. Like, seriously. I was trying to hold out for them so that I could come home with them and they're like, no, we're gonna be hours, we're gonna be partying until like midnight or like the early a.m. and it's like 20 minutes later they're pulling into the driveway and now they're gonna annoy the fuck out of me because the whole idea was to avoid this social situation and they're back here having a party! So me and Northy, Northy's feeling my vibes right now guys. That's how stressed I was today. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't even know what to say in situations like this. I'm literally just getting into my fucking sofa bed that's like broken and I'm just, my wet towel and I'm just gonna snuggle and sleep under my galaxy pillow covers. This is where I should have stayed from the beginning. Last time I try and be sociable. Good night guys. And I just remembered that I had mud on my foot from when I stepped in that mud puddle guys.